Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. If you like the content that I post, you can like, share, leave a comment, or subscribe if you are new. Um, I hope every, everybody has been doing great, new or old, returning, doesn't matter to me. Uh, today's July 16, 2020. This is just a collective check-in to see uh, what the vibe's going to be for today. It is a late post, sorry about that. Let's do two more shuffles. July 16, 2020. One last shuffle. Alrighty, guys. Firm foundation. You guys could be coming, becoming whole within yourselves, working on yourselves. Let's find out. Solitude, yeah, by yourself. So you guys are becoming whole within yourself, working on your stability, emotional withdrawal. So you guys may be withdrawing your emotions as well, um, just so you can become more balanced. Nothing wrong with that. Self care is never selfish. So let's see. July 16, 2020, for the collective, what messages do they need to know? <laughs> Emotional withdrawn. We got that part. It's saying to uh, rejoice in celebration. I mean, you guys, like I said, could be becoming more balanced. Right here, balanced. So you're emotionally withdrawing, and by by emotionally withdrawing from people and becoming whole within yourself, you're attracting your soul family, the people that are supposed to be in your life to guide you to the next step. Let's see what else. July 16, 2020. Yeah, so you're attracting your soul family. And with your intuition, you're um, you're starting to move to a higher plane in your, in your intuition truth right here. So you're starting to realize the truth. Your intuition's getting stronger. You're starting to uh, uh, awaken to the reality of things. Uh, let's see what else. And maybe this came through a heartache and a loss type of situation. I mean... I had my awakening um, through a heartache. It wasn't like rainbows and sunshine. So um, that's kind of what starts to awaken you up to the spiritual journey. You know, is when you're searching for answers, right? I mean, the truth is never just given to you. Sometimes you have to search for it. It's never given. It's, I mean, it's like research, right? So let's get at least two more cards for July 16th, 2020. One last shuffle for the collective July 16, 2020. Can I at least get two more cards, please? Make them fly out of the deck. Thank you. One last card, please. Look at fly. No. Destiny and throat chakra. So you're going to be um, starting to speak your truth. Uh, you're going to be able to become more communicative. There's one more card for the collective. Make it fly out, spirit. By 16, 2020. That's it. And that's it. Base chakra. So you guys are starting to um, realize the things that you have. Um, and with the throat chakra, you guys are starting to communicate about it. Um, let me just double check the throat chakra. Is there? No, I speak. So, yeah, you're going to speak about the things that you have, the, maybe perhaps the things you have learned, um, maybe the things that you've, um, your intuition, the things that it is telling you, um, and you guys are waking up to the truth, you're waking up to your soul family by becoming emotionally uh, withdrawn, you know, withdrawing yourself from other people, you guys are awakening more. So, let's just get into the shuffling, I'll do four more shuffles, July 16th. 2020. So it looks like you guys are going towards more uh, a more mature sense of love, but you guys are um, having boundaries or you guys are on the defense. 
uh, towards your happiness, towards your blessings, you guys could be stopping that. So let's get into it. July 16th, 2020. Wow. Okay. Okay, the chariot upside down is a need for balance. It's also success through underhanded means. Yeah. Maybe you had to cut some people off to be more successful, but it, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes people are only supposed to be in your life for a season and not your whole life. I mean, people get glued on the, well, we've been friends since forever. Okay, I understand you may have been friends forever, but at some point, some people can sometimes be hindering you from your blessings. So at that point, they helped you get to a certain point in your life. And then sometimes you have to, you know, it's like um, one time I was talking to a, a police officer. Him and I were having a conversation. And he was telling me about how, you know, he, he knows um, some of his friends and uh, old friends are like, they took a different path in life than him. And he says all he can do is, is check up on them. Hey, how you guys doing? Hope you've been good. Great. Bye. And move on with his life. Because it's like they took two different journeys if you catch my drift. You know, he can't get too involved with his old friends. And that's kind of what it looks like here. Uh, with the chariot card upside down um, underneath the emotional withdrawal card. It's kind of like, and, um, and I mean, that's just an example, okay? That has nothing to do with, you know, um, yeah, anything. But, okay, so with the chariot card here, it's like um, you guys are needing some balance. It's success through underhanded means. With the five of swords, you had to physically cut people off. Uh, maybe you guys blocked some people. But with the um, uh, wish fulfillment card, maybe it was something that you were wanting to do. Uh, with the musician card, this is someone who is alone. Okay? He has everything that he needs. He has a cup. He has a pinnacle. He has a wand. He, um, he has a sword here. I mean, a wand and a sword. And he has like a, a, you know, a magic stick there. He's able to manifest, and with the infinity card, anything that he'd like. But I mind you, he is alone. But the six of swords, I mean, it's kind of like you're smoothing. Um, you're taking you and your shadow self, and you're going from rough waters to calmer waters. It's like these people are no longer your problem anymore. Maybe that's all I need to know. The Empress card. This could be because you're you're wanting to build your own kingdom. Okay, maybe it's because it looks like you're calm and collected, and other people are reacting more than you are. And with the Justice card, you're you're wanting equality with the Nine of Wands, with something that's inconsistent in your life. You're wanting it to be balanced. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's very um, in and out of your life and has erratic mood swings as well. Uh, maybe they're not 100% honest with you. Or this could be you cutting people off who are in and out of your life and who tend to attack you, take things out on you. And so it's kind of like you're sneaking off, but it's not that you're sneaking off. It's just that you're moving in silence. You're not really telling anybody what you're doing. You're just like going ghost in a way. It was like you were being with these people, but these people were not making you feel good. Um, let's see what else. So, can I get some more information from the collective, July 16th, 2020? Wow. Okay. Maybe you're also cutting off people who are manipulative, vindictive, in it for themselves. The tower card. Yeah. You're creating change. It's like people who thought you would never cut them off. You're now defending yourself so with the hermit card because you're searching for answers in your life. And it's like you're questioning your own ideas. You're questioning your own beliefs. Maybe you're even questioning your reality and your perspective, you know, your perception on things. 
And this could be like a wake up call to yourself. You're making major changes in your life. Um, you know, because you're looking for life's answers, you're looking for the answers to your problems in your life. This could also be these other people are having a huge realization because you are defending yourself. You are, um, you know, you're only wanting what is equal and best for you. It's like you're cutting those people off and they feel like, you know, they're, you're leaving them out in the cold almost. Yeah. Page of Wands upside down so page of wands upside down to me is also somebody who they tell people what they want to hear so you could be cutting off people who tend to sugarcoat things for you instead of being real and blunt with you so let's get two more shuffles for the collective july 15 2020 then we'll clarify this and we'll close this reading off yeah with the star card it's like a loss of hope. It's like you're losing hope. You're losing faith. And maybe you're feeling lost. With the three of cups here, it could be... um, Yeah. It was like people were attached to you because you were very independent. And with the four of swords here... You're not really wanting to make any effort towards anybody. It's like you're not wanting to engage your energy towards anyone. You're choosing to close yourself off. It's like you realize you're better by yourself. Wow. That's a lot. Let's do one last shuffle. Just a little more information for July 16, 2020. For the next 24 hours, what's going to be happening? Boom, Ace of Swords. Mental clarity, authenticity. Yeah. So let me tell you what the last four cards mean. With the Ace of Swords here, that is authenticity, mental clarity, getting out of confusion and now seeing things clearly. It's like you have a lot of regrets, a lot of guilt, and this could be you or someone that you're dealing with, you know, energies around you, feel free to swap around the characters. It's like maybe even a sense of betrayal towards yourself. And it's like many setbacks and disappointments. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like your past wrongdoings coming back up to haunt you. And with the uh, Five of Pentacles here, it's like you're feeling left out because of the past. It's like the past... Is coming back up. Again, this were people that they would lie to you. They were being shady to you. They didn't have your best interest in mind. You know, they were kind of like they wanted you to stay in a low vibration for themselves. But in reality, they're robbing you of your um, time. Okay, that is a lot. Um, let's break that down. So, I'll use my starter deck. Not my starter deck. Okay. Let's see. Just get some clarifiers and that's it. So, collective checkup. Why are these cards backwards? Okay. Collective checkup. July 16th, 2020. Some clarifiers, please. Two more shuffles. It's like you're going through a rebirth. You could be having some sort of awakening. Collective checkup. Okay. Yeah, you're going towards your ab abundance. You're going towards your stability. Let's see what else. What is this power card? The Wheel of Fortune upside down. The Star card. The Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, 
now you're reminiscing over these past people, maybe even somebody you may have wanted to be your everything, or somebody who wanted to be your everything. And with the um, King of Cups, maybe you're realizing how, and the Upside Down, with the Wheel of Fortune Upside Down, the Star Card Upside Down, you could be, you could be losing hope over um, somebody who was very manipulative. Um, they were... You know, um, they were very egotistical. They gave you love in the wrong way. With the Wheel of Fortune, past wrongdoings are coming back up to haunt this other person. Or you. And that could have been you who was very manipulative in love. And now your past wrongdoings are coming back up. Okay, Nine of Cups here. See, justice towards the past. You're equaling that out. You want balanced situations only. You know, people who keep it real. And with the Queen of Pentacles here on top of the Nine of Cups, you're wanting to be stable and nurturing down to earth within yourself. Uh, what is this? Yeah. You're being awoken to your intuition. The High Priestess here, that's intuition to me. It's like having the answers to secrets. Uh, let's see. What is this Tower card? Again, only something that's equal. What is the tower card? I think it was, um, okay. So I think people in the past saw you as very generous and they took advantage of that. With the uh, four of wands here and the six of swords. Again, you're going towards um, stability, towards a firm foundation. Queen of wands. Yeah. This is all just clarifying the past. I can more about the present. You're starting to look at things from a different perspective, but you're kind of feeling stuck. The Wheel of Fortune upside down. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune upside down. Okay. So now it's like you're having a sense of, con a sense of confusion um, because of your past. It's like you, you're going to need some structure, um, a need for discipline. It's like your mind isn't on the right mindset uh, with the Sun card here. You're focused too much on blessings. Okay, in the past, getting out of that feeling lost. So you're getting out of this feeling lost energy. And with the Ace of Wands, you're going towards a new beginning, a fresh start almost. Just trying to see what is this person. Who is that King of Cups? The Upside Down. Tower card upside down. Okay, so somebody who sabotaged a situation with you. Uh, could be a twin flame with that Four of Wands. Is coming back. Yeah, King of Wands. They're coming back um, because you're by yourself. Moon card, you're focused more on clearing out the illusions. You saw them for who they were. Someone who was in it for themselves. You know, you can't really trust them with your heart. They were just going to break it. It was someone who was, like, not able to commit in relationships. Um... Yeah, it looks like it's an end to the past and you're going towards a new beginning. All because you're better by yourself. I mean, it looks like they have no choice but to change. So, alrighty guys, give me one moment. Okay guys, um, I'm just going to double check with the Romance Angels. If somebody's coming back, I know the overall energy is that you cut people off. You know, you started focusing more on yourself. You know, that you figured out, you know, just to focus on you. Uh, but let me see what that... What that past wrongdoings was and all that. I mean, if that was you, like, uh, okay, well, looks like you're fixing, you're, you're, you know, correcting the errors in your ways. Um, but I want to say that's somebody else. It honestly does feel like somebody else is coming back uh, that may have done you dirty in the past. So let's just do two more shuffles with the Romance Angels just to see what's up. Last shuffle. There you go. Deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, so it does look like somebody that you're not in communication with. I mean, I don't see them communicating with you, but their energy is still around you. So this could be something you're still thinking about, um, something you're still uh, focusing on. Um, it looks like they're going through some karma and you are better by yourself. Or feel free to swap around the characters. You're going through karma and they're better by themselves. You know, let's find out. So what's happening? Who is that manipulative person? Oy. Very soon. Okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So maybe you're, you're okay, one of two things. You could be wanting like a redo with this person. Um, but be careful what you ask for, right? 
Um, you know, maybe you're, you're so desperate. You're like, I want them back, but I don't want them to be cheating on me. I don't want them to be lying to me. I don't want them to be manipulative to me, whatever. Focus on what you want to happen in the relationship and not what you don't want to happen um, in the relationship. Uh, that is the only way where you can um, manifest like a... One moment, trying to fix the brightness, whatever. Uh, so that you can manifest the relationship that you're asking for. I mean, you don't want to have the same person back, right? Because if that's the case, healing family issues, your love benefits as you forgive your parents. As you forgive your childhood traumas, I mean, it's kind of like maybe this person may have woke you up to your childhood traumas, to your maybe abandonment issues, your, you know, um, afraid, uh, not perceiving and accepting and giving love in the right ways, right? Um, we could forgive your parents for that, right? For not properly showing you how to give love and how to receive it. So um, if that's the case, they're going to come back and you're going to have to properly work on that attraction. You attack romantic love, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That being said, as you emotionally withdraw, you are happy and you're thankful for everything that you've been through. You speak your truth and you appreciate what you have. You attract more love because you're living in the moment. You're not dwelling on the past. You're not dwelling on the, oh, I'm alone, I'm alone. Because then if you are constantly thinking that um, everybody leaves me, well, unfortunately, the universe, you're going to be manifesting everybody leaving you. Um, but this situation involves marriage, wedding, right? I mean, everybody has ups and downs in their marriages. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let's do one last shuffle. Ooh, that came and comes upside down. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So who is that king of cups upside down? It's someone that you've been waiting for. They look like with the tower card, the hermit card, the wheel of fortune. They're going through their karma. It's a good thing you started focusing on yourself. Self-care is not selfish. You may have backed off because it was, become, it was affecting your health, right? So um, deception, someone's wearing a false mask still, right? So, guys, thank you so much. If you like my style of reading, like the content I post, please like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. Have a good one.